As the saying goes, give a man fish and feed him for a day, but teach a man to catch fish and feed him for a lifetime. True to the adage, the first lady, Amai Auxiliam Nangagwa, is a philanthropist par excellence who does not only provide food to the needy but also teaches on self sustaining life skills. I've since appreciated the monetary and health benefits that can easily be accrued from this venture. Not only have I learned a lot about fish farming, I have also put everything I learned into practice. I have since initiated fish farming projects at Angel of Hope activities and in my backyard, maximizing on the available space and water. I really understand what it means to be a mother, especially during difficult times like we are experiencing under this COVID-19 pandemic. A lot of livelihoods have been lost and our living standards as women are heavily inclined towards self-help, vending small businesses, hence the most affected. I therefore encourage you all to this lucrative venture of fish farming. I'm however made aware of the prohibitive cost of fish feed and hereby plead with our universities and other private entities to seriously look into research and formulating cost-effective fish feed so that Zimbabwean citizens can, can profitably embark on fish farming for livelihoods and nutritional reasons. I want to thank heavens for women who are here and others, wherever they are, to understand that I am with you and I will never leave you or allow anyone to be left behind. This is the right time for us to be together, comforting and strengthening one another in our different groups. All women are special regardless of color, race, religion, political affiliation, social or marital status. Let me reiterate that we need one another, especially now, more than any other time. As a mother, grandmother, comforter, and more so, as I am in women empowerment, I strongly believe in the empowerment of women as the real and sustainable solution to national development drive. I believe that once we empower women, like we are going to witness today, the empowered women will go on to empower other women, and the empowerment train continues non-stop until all women are empowered regardless of their social standing in society. Let us use our influence for those in positions of authority to ignite the empowerment fire which will consume the entire nation. For those who still remember, in 2018 and 2019, I worked with the Zimpax empowering schools with fish ponds and fruit trees as an empowerment program for schools to be self-sustained through income generation from fish farming. I invited the Zimbabwe Parks and Wildlife Management Authority to partner with me on fish farming projects and training our future fish farmers wherever I go. On top of imparting knowledge on how to farm and harvest fish, the First Lady exhibits knowledge on the nutritional value of fish and the numerous healthy recipes. As a mother, I know more than a dozen recipes you can have with fish. Fish is a high protein, low fat food that provides a range of health benefits. White fleshed fish, in particular, is lower in fat than any other sources of animal protein. And oily fish are high in omega-3 fat acids or the good fats. Since the human body cannot produce significant amounts of these essential nutri nutrients, fish are an important part of the diet which provide these essential nutrients. Furthermore, fish are low in the bed, fats commonly found in red meat. While handing over certificates to graduates, 
The First Lady implored all the trainees to use their newly acquired knowledge to develop communities. My simple message to you all is, let's not wait for fish from Kariba or any other dam when we can have them fresh and cheap at arm's reach in our backyards. To the graduates who are here today, I challenge you to put the knowledge you gained on this training program into practice and put it into practice. More so, let us go out there and spread the knowledge to others in our various districts and wards. A year from now, I wish to be invited to witness successful fish farming projects and hear testimonies of the benefits you will have accrued. Today, we are going to witness the graduation of the first group of women and youths who completed their training and will be awarded certificates of achievement. The message of entrepreneurship, including beekeeping, bakery, fish farming, and horticulture are important in our lives. Empowerment, food security, and poverty eradication are our ultimate and common goals. Let's all work together to achieve this in our various provinces. True to your nature, the First Lady has maintained a non-partisan stance in a philanthropic work, embracing everyone regardless of their political affiliation. Ndiripano, ndavamai, vemunuwese, munika, ye Zimbabwe. Anoda ake, nea singadi, dinungo wa maivaki. Andisa ruze. Tuno <laughs> Ati dana nei, dana nai mazimai, ibo poi pane mwe mazimai, musa tarise chiso chake, musa tarise kwa anova, warumu murukuda mazimai se ni, rudo, chamba nuzai muni kaiye se sa mazimai nai, dino ziva murukuzi cha asi, dawe ya kuzowe zera, ops ai wani no ndi ne chido, dino rudo. Kamuri Mose, ni mazi mai osanga da ya siripano, ane zane itao zaka siana siana, sino vada, sino kudai, sino kudai Mose. True love knows no boundaries, and every woman deserves a chance to be loved and empowered. Let us all work together. Vana ba ba muri pano ndura kutenda ibuti matipere kiza mau ya pano muzona. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ taught us to love one neighbors, our neighbors as we love ourselves. In the Bible story of the Good Samaritan, we learn that he saw someone in need and felt love and compassion to help. In like manner, I am calling upon all of us women to be driven by genuine love, to embrace each other regardless of whatever distinction that may exist. Without any discrimination, let us show love to one another, support each other, empower each other, carry one another's burden and finally stand in solidarity with each other. As for me, my love is for all. I know no boundary. I do not discriminate. Hence, wherever women are gathered, I'm also there. Pakaunga na madzimai, dino wa nipandiriko. Madzimai pakaunga niwa, ajine yukta mwa zive, wa nikwa imuriko. Zirukitika ipapo mchajida. Zirukitika ipapo mchajikuziriza. 
munyika ya tinofamba amai mnangagwa is driven by simple and unconditional pure love it is this love that has given him strength to traverse the whole country helping the needy driven by this love you have seen me everywhere be it church uh, different denominations various women groups academia women lawyers female journalists and many more gatherings feel free to call me for i belong everywhere women mothers grandmothers widows single mothers young mothers ladies girls women in business and any other woman whichever group you belong to i'm challenging you today to stand up and be counted be a pillar of support for the woman next door not for any special reason but just because she is a woman like yourself your problems are your problems and your children are your children too wana wangu my youth you learn from your mothers you learn from your fathers idana nai ipa next door vanota kudana ni wana vodana nai na avo vasinga di vadzidzise kuti vanokodzera kudiwa ndiye muno vada as women together united by true love from god we will succeed in developing our nation and be able to to raise responsible future leaders who will turn zimbabwe into a paradise we all desire it to be god bless us all and god bless our nation zimbabwe i thank you ndatende